Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of My Bucket List Day. For those of you that are new, my name is Jeff. Have you ever wondered how to sift through all the BS out there and what is the best rig out there for you? Uh, have you ever wondered, is anybody ever going to get their crap together and build a high quality RV that you can rely on, that just works, uh, that will hold its value? Well, I think we found a company that is doing that right now. It's Brinkley. What you're about to see, I was so impressed and uh, I would love to hear your guys' comments. So leave comments below if you agree with some of the statements you're about to hear in this video. And don't forget, hit that like and subscribe button because that really helps us out and we really appreciate it. But let's dive into Brinkley and find out what they're all about. At any rate, I was so impressed with Brinkley and uh, as I know many of you are, um, I was very fortunate to get an in-depth full access to their factory, to their rigs, uh, and just reviewed everything. Met with a lot of folks, met with some owners, and uh, had so much content that uh, decided to turn this into two episodes. So this episode, because it's very important, you need to see the factory tour. Yes, yeah, several people have done factory tours, I know that. But we're gonna highlight uh, a few things that we think are really just important to you and what sets them apart from everybody else. Um, as you probably know by now, Brinkley has really shaken up the RV industry with all its innovation and all the great ideas. Um, as I mentioned, they've provided me full access to not only the factory, but also some of the, of, of the RV. And what we're gonna cover in our, this episode and next is the Model G. Everybody's been doing the Z, uh, but the G is the toy hauler. And there's two models. There is the uh, G3500 and the G4000. The 4000, I believe you can order now. Um, that is basically the exact same thing as the 3500, but a 16 foot uh, garage rather than an 11 foot garage. Um, and we're gonna dive into the differences there as well as some of the details of each of these uh, models and why I believe Brinkley is basically the best RV on the market for the dollar. Now, we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, how it stacks up against some luxury brands like the DRV, uh, did I say that right, and the Lux and a couple other brands, um, and how it surpasses all the others on the marketplace in, in uh, fifth wheel category, especially the luxury category. Uh, they've done some things that are just unique. Now, what I did is I, I talked to a friend of mine, um, you guys may know, uh, Ryan, and uh, he and I were there around the same time and both did a tour, and uh, it was kind of decided that we'll collaborate a little bit on this. So, while I have some uh, stuff that I'm going to share with you about the tour, he also does, and uh, we thought we'd collaborate together on it. So, if you don't know Ryan, it's Ryan Miller uh, from Miller's in Motion with his lovely wife, Lauren. Here's a uh, little logo of them, and then over here, I'm going to put a QR code that'll take you right to their channel and check out uh, what they've got to offer. And if you ever meet these guys, by the way, they are what you consider or categorize. They're just good people. Down to earth, um, just very, very gracious in their time, very kind and courteous. Lauren's such a sweetheart, uh, big into the horse industry. Uh, Ryan, pro golfer, uh, among other things that Ryan is, uh, Wisconsin alum, all that kind of stuff. So we hit it off right away. Really love this couple. They're great, great people. Um, so this is going to be shared between Ryan and I as far as telling the story about the factory. And then we're going to meet one of the owners and uh, do a brief little interview. And then phase two or part two of this, we're going to really dive into the Model G. Um, I think you guys are going to be very impressed what you see and uh, some of the differences. Before we get into this factory tour, I got to say, when you see this, you're going to be amazed. It's one of the cleanest factory tours I've been on and all the factory tours I've ever been on. I've been on probably oh, more than six, I believe, maybe seven. And this by far is the cleanest. You'll notice that they, they actually have people that are cleaning up the factory as they're making units. Um, it's very impressive how clean and organized this factory is. 
on top of that you're going to see an amazing some amazing things they do to not only improve the quality but also improve the reliability of the rigs they make these like no other rig is being made um, you'll, we'll get into that a little bit more uh, one of the other things i will also say is while this factory tour you're going to see they have the capacity of doing quite a few rigs in a day right now i believe they're doing between eight and ten a day uh, they're perfecting everything, just getting everything right. Uh, in fact, when they have a rush on orders and things like that, they get the line managers in a meeting on Monday morning and say, hey, can we pick it up? If any of them says, nah, we're going to give up a little bit of quality, the reliability here, they don't do it. They make sure they have the quality and reliability there and also make sure that they're not stressing their staff. So they do everything different there. Um, they are well experienced in the RV industry, You'll, all these people came from different RV companies and they brought all the problems, I shouldn't say brought all the problems, they solved all the problems other manufacturers are having in designing this factory and designing the operations and how they do things. So with that in mind, I'm going to stop talking right now and we're going to hand it off to Ryan. Ryan, take it away, start the tour. Right, well, we are now inside plant one, which by the way, is just the beginning of a 250 acre campus that the Brinkley team is investing, which is absolutely insane that they're putting that much money towards it. But right behind me here, you notice there's just a bunch of frames sitting here. The cool thing about that is, well, it's Indiana. In the winter, it gets a little cold and frames sitting outside can do things. And so they just bring them in and they let them acclimate to the temperature inside the building. And then they come right into this massively beautiful if you're in a manufacturing plant, eventually. I do want to say a huge thanks to Jeremiah and the team here at Brinkley for letting us come in and tour it and kind of staying late after the end of the day. We're going to show you some of the big reasons why how they do things matters for you, the end user. There's a lot of technical things that you wouldn't think matter to you at the end of the day. I guarantee it does. So while this isn't a very sexy looking thing, at the end of the day, just the fact that I'm holding in case you're curious, is a wiring harness. I'm holding a 12 volt wiring harness in my hand. It's kind of a crazy thing because this takes time. This isn't something that you just magically do. It, this takes time and effort. But the reason why it is that way is so when they're wiring the rig, everything is already done for the people actually installing it. So if you notice, we are up here on the mezzanine where some of the wiring, especially all the wiring through the roof systems, as well as well, the roof systems are built and they have these huge, really fancy looking, don't let Ryan touch ever systems that haul all this stuff out. Well, at the end of the day, what that does is one makes a very happy employee. And at the end, in addition to that, a happy employee makes a better RV. One other little note that I'm gonna say is it's actually nice in here. For some reason, it's in the nineties in Indiana when I'm here, I guess that's just lucky me because I brought Texas with me. It's currently 76 up here. It's nice. I don't want to go back outside. <laughs> And they do that so the employees have a better workspace. Plus, I'm sure they thought of this, but your tolerances all stay the same when your humidity levels stay the same and all of your temperatures stay the same when you start talking about working with metals and especially woods when they expand and contract. So your, the rigs are being built in the same conditions all the time, every time. Just like a wiring harness, the same every time, all the time. So on that same note, the one thing that you probably never truly expected to see when you're talking about the build of your RV this is a really, really fancy vacuum. Well, besides the fact that they want to vacuum up the floors and do things like our Dyson with dog hair, when they're building these rigs, typically what you see in an RV factory is you'll get an air hose and they just start spraying stuff everywhere. It doesn't magically exit. There's no <laughs> poof and it's gone. They're just moving it around. So what they do is they've installed these ridiculously insane, pretty much full factory vacuum systems to make it easier for the staff to clean up after themselves. And what does that do for you? Again, the end user it makes a great and happy employee because their jobs are a little easier and it's cleaner. You're not breathing all that stuff in. Again, happy employee still is doing the right thing. But at the end of the day, you're talking about using adhesives. You're talking about using things that if some of that sawdust or whatever the material happens to be, 
gets in the way of some of that adhesive, you're not gonna have as good of a seal. And so decals may come off, logos may come off, uh, whatever that's adhesive or anything along those lines. Plus you couple that with your rig's just gonna be cleaner at the end of the day when it leaves the factory. So when it goes down the road and transport to your dealership before your dealership PDI, there's not as much to clean up because there's just not as much to clean up. Simple math. <laughs> So we're moved down the line. We're kind of doing this hot and quick, but I'm at this, this rig still doesn't have a slide box and it's getting close. But if you notice right here, so this is the corner seal. Typically on a rig right here, you're gonna have a piece of silicone. There's no silicone. If I rub that on my rig, stuff would come off. So they're doing a really cool system that there's no external silicone or sealant on the outside of this. They're actually using a turnabon underneath and then bringing everything together so that you don't have to seal that way. If you've been following our channel for a long time now, you know that we completely resealed all of our trim pieces and everything on our roof with the Turnabon. There's a reason why I did that. Also, if you've owned a rig for longer than about a year and it's heated up, that silicone eventually collects dirt, you need to clean it, and then when you clean it, it sometimes comes off, then you have to reseal your rig every year or so, or at least you should be if you have silicone. Um, you don't have to do that here. I love things that essentially make my life easier. So at the end of the day for you, it's a less maintenance rig. So let me ask just a quick question. Do you think that your RV, regardless of make, model, or anything, was completely pressure sealed? I know we just talked about the Eternabon on the inside, the walls behind the trim pieces, and so there's no silicone, but think about that. If you shut every door, slides open, every door, every window is shut, do you think if you hooked up a device to that, that it would be completely pressure sealed? So this super unappealing looking I don't even, blower, I guess, is the fancy term for it. I don't know, highly technical. So they do what's called a lower door test. They take this, they somehow, in, in a technical way that I don't completely understand and I don't have to understand it because I'm not an engineer, they close up the rig, attach this to it, and they turn it on. So what it does is it creates this pressure vacuum, if you may. And then they go around seals, window seals, exterior seals, slide, you name it, with essentially soapy water. So think like if you're testing for a LP or a propane leak, you're using soapy water and you look for bubbles. They're doing that on every RV. The time that that takes in my head at the end of the day is nuts, but that's a big thing that they're doing that they want less warranty issues coming out of the Brinkley factories. So they take the time they do this now and they do it with every single RV that leaves the facility. and. They're hoping that it leads to less customer service issues, which makes for a better end experience for you. So why is that important? Because at the end of the day, hopefully you're not having to call them for water leaks and all kinds of leaks for whatever reason. Things happen, it's still an RV, but at the end of the day, at least you know this is happening on every single RV with a really technical blower. Okay, so I know I'm off camera for a second, but I wanted to point this out. So this is one of the last stations that the wheels are actually on their little, I'm gonna call them skis, I don't know what they actually call them. At this point, what's gonna happen is they push the rig back onto that green plate, support it up at the front, and then they do something that's incredibly unique to the build process of an RV. This rig literally backs up on top of this. They put the tire on top of this big green plate. What this does is really cool. So this shakes. You know, if you go to like the old, like Ripley's Believe It or Not's or something, and you get on like the earthquake thing and it simulates the earthquakes, that's essentially what they're doing to these RVs. Again, just like the seal test, every single RV hits this thing before it leaves the factory and goes into the PDI process. So it backs on this plate and this simulates off-road travel for the RV. Not just around the road, we're talking off-road travel. You're testing bolts, you're testing everything. You're testing every component on this and whether or not it can handle road traffic. If there is an excess amount of sawdust, remember about the vacuum thing up there? The sawdust will pull up. If it's too much and it's outside of what they would consider a normal amount, this thing goes back in line to figure out why that much sawdust came out. Also, any sawdust that comes out, if you've bought a new RV, you know what I'm talking about. That thing gets down the road. You open cabinets for like the first year, you find sawdust everywhere you should find less because they're literally shaking it out right here. And every rig does this, that's insane. So literally just between the seal test over there and this, they add upwards of 15 minutes per coach in production time. Liz, that might not sound like a lot, 
But if you think about how many coaches need to be produced to fulfill orders, that amounts up to days of time very quickly and weeks of time over the course of a year. The fact that they're doing that is proof in the pudding, if you may, that they're trying to do it the right way. Plus, you know that you're getting a product that's at least been tried and true on these devices to try and simulate as much as they can. So we've moved on now to the PDI area. And I got to tell you, if you notice, it's a lot brighter here all of a sudden. I've got a pretty good camera, but it's brighter here than it was back there. So if you look up above me here, you can see these strategically positioned, incredibly bright lights. Well, there's a couple things they do here. Yes, they do the normal PDI stuff. They walk through it. They make sure everything closes right. Tolerances are correct. All the stuff you would hope happens in an RV gets done here. There are two things that they do that's above and beyond. And I have firsthand experience on the opposite side of one of these. One is every single RV that comes off the plant gets a full 360 degree photo exterior as well as interior photos attached to that bin. So the dealer actually gets those pictures as well. So now they have a cross reference point, but you can see what it looked like when it left the factory. That's awesome. The second thing, and this is the one I have firsthand experience with. If you've ever tried to order a part for your RV based on your VIN number, how hard is that? I can tell you how many different versions of the carefree awning front cap that I've lost because I may have clipped the bush tree thing. Um, and how many times is that wrong? Most. Can never figure it out. So you can actually have a parts list of every part that's been put on your RV so that you can find a replacement easier. Again, just one of those little things that helps greatly. One other really cool thing that they do here is they have something called the owner sub. Now most manufacturers have some version of this. Lights are blinking because they need me to cut it off. It's like the music at the Oscars when you're supposed to get off stage. The cool thing about that, there's over, at, right now there's over 200 videos of how to operate, how to maintain, how to do things on your floor plan specific RV. And I'm told that's just the beginning. So every single model is gonna have all these videos. So you have built in video resources directly from Brinkley. What that enables you to do is be able to do what you want to do to your rig and understand where things are, how they work, and the proper way to maintain them. And almost more importantly, the wrong way. Don't do it the other way because this is the way that the manufacturer is asking you to do it and they're giving you everything you need. All right, thanks Ryan. So there's a couple other things I want to expand on. Uh, what Ryan talked about, did a great job by the way. Um, the frame, I want to say the frame, as you all know, I had the frame issues on my current rig and the reason I was in Indiana for the whole month anyway. Um, they do something here differently at Brinkley. Well, they went to LCI or Lippert and said, listen, we want to build a frame that is durable. They design these rigs for full-time RVers. This is not how the others design them for occasional use, a couple weeks here, a couple weekends there. These are designed to take the use and abuse that a full-timer puts on an RV. Uh, so these frames, it starts with that. They went to Lippert and they said, listen, they want a stronger frame. You'll see here they've got the six inch box frame on the front here where the pin is connected to, the pin box, I should say. And the reinforcements uh, in the front end on the upper deck, as well as the lower deck as well as the gussets they put in there that map, match the two together. So in this section, as you see here, where they're going to take the frame and uh, they're going to take off the landing gear that came from the factory, which is just a cheap axle that they put on there to just to transport it there. They'll turn the frame over and they'll weld and mount the axles and suspension. And the suspension will be based on whatever the order is, um, depending on if you got uh, the independent suspension or the rugged suspension that they put on there. Uh, and then they also do other welding and things like that to the, make it stronger and make sure everything is true and, and lined up. Then they'll flip it back over and they'll put it down the next stage in line and start putting in the tanks and the things of that nature. Um, I will say when they do this, these tanks, um, whether it be the gray tank, black tank, or even the freshwater tank, they are far superior installation and mounting that you see from any other rig out there, even some of the high-end luxury ones. Um, the process in which they use to, to ensure durability is second to none. They do this better than anybody. Um, when they say they've got a 90-gallon uh, gray water tank, 
They do, where a lot of companies put the 45 on one side and 45 on another side, and they're split, and they say it's 90, it's not really. What Brinkley does here is they have one 90 gallon tank and they split the two, but they balance out, and it's got one electronic uh, gate valve or flush valve. Um, just great idea, great design. So, in addition to that, the material they use, the, the thermo silver stuff here that you see, that is twice as thick as you see from all the other manufacturers. It is high quality, and it's not only on the top and the bottom of the subfloor, it's also down in line with the bottom of the frame. And you see this duct, hose duct, that they use for the heater or furnace, if you will, to heat everything. Look how thick this is in comparison to what everybody else uses. Well, that's just an example of what you see throughout the entire assembly process. All the material they use, um, the walls are thicker, the material is thicker, it's reinforced, heavy duty, um, a far superior product than you see in other manufacturers. Um, but I won't get into detail on that. I think you guys have seen all of this. You can tell by my excitement and my enthusiasm how impressed I am with them. Having seen all the other brands out there, uh, I can't say every brand, but most of the other, other brands out there, this is a far superior built rig. Far superior than all the other ones out there. So that's it on the frame, and now we're gonna jump into the actual G-Series product. But before we do that, we're gonna have a little chat with Nate, or Nathan, one of the owners of Brinkley. Uh, one of five, they're five founders of the firm. And we're gonna have a little chat with him and uh, we'll be right back. All right guys, here we are. We're uh, with Nate, one of the co-founders of Brinkley. And uh, this is our second time doing a little interview here. Yeah, standing in the same spot. I pretty think. much, yeah, yeah pretty <laughs> much. And uh, as you all know, I've been kind of just bragging about how wonderful Brinkley is and how the quality and the innovation and the things that they're doing is so far ahead of everybody else. So we wanted to get from you, Nate, tell us a little bit about the philosophy behind Brinkley. Yeah, so we, uh, we spent a, a career working for other people, mostly yep. public companies. You know, we uh, started Grand Design and were private for a while. Yeah. And, um, you know, so we've we've worked on both sides of the fence. And really, you know, we, uh, we miss being private. And, um, you know, there's something about when the owners are in the business every day. Yeah. Um, you know, it just feels different for people. Uh, Customer interactions feel different, and we miss that connection with everyone. Right. So, um, you know, we took a step back and left a great careers, great jobs, um, to kind of reset. And Brinkley, uh, what we're doing now is is the vision kind of coming to life. So. Yeah. And the vision is incredible. Um, I hope we can portray my passion and Nathan's passion and other people you're going to meet about not only building a quality RV, but meeting and greeting some of the greatest customers that buy these RVs and the relationship they build from that. So as we go on and continue to do other videos, I hope you guys see that because not only Nate here, but Micah and everybody I've met here, the passion within Brinkley, all the employees. Uh, I was talking about a little bit ago, uh, Nick, who took me around on a tour. Yeah. yeah. Very good job. I think he's a former police officer. Police yeah, detective. he was a detective for years. Yeah. yeah. And uh, he, he found a home here at Brinkley and is very passionate about it and so happy that he has yep. and he shares his story of why he feels you know this is the best place not only to work because of the environment you guys create for the employees but also the environment that uh, you have as far as communication with your employees yep and that's uh, that's fantastic and he's probably too bashful to admit but he's you spent a lot of time on the factory floor working with all your workers solving issues coming up with better ideas of doing oh, yeah. things and I know Micah did that. I saw him firsthand when we were on the tour. He was grabbing a piece of plywood and dragging it across the shop and uh, working on different ways to do something. Oh, yeah. So we, we prefer to be on the shop floor. It's actually like our comfortable place. We'd rather be out there than sitting in the offices. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, very good. Yeah, thank All you. All right. Now, talk about a little bit about your, uh, your message to the public. What, what is your goal? What is the Brinkley brand? 
Yeah, uh, so, you know, we we just want, we want to build a great company, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, for us it's it's way less about the numbers, you know, that, that more correlates with our past and what we used to drive yeah. for. And now, you know, um, we do build custom homes on wheels. Yeah. You know, we, we come in every day and we do everything we can to build the best unit possible, you know, and uh, are they perfect? No, uh, we haven't gotten to that level, but we we do want to build better product than our course. competitors, you know, and uh, in it really anything we've built in the past, and we feel like we have uh, the collective experience to, to yeah. do that, you know. So, you know, for us, uh, it starts with people. This is still, uh, you know, kind of a manufacturing setting, but it's construction, and uh, right. you know, it's no different than building a home. You can tell if the subs cared or if they didn't care. It's yeah. the same thing here. So, you know, for us, we wanted to create an environment where we could attract the top talent in our area. And here in Northern Indiana, there's a lot of tribal knowledge, um, but sure you do kind of have to sift through and find the studs. Yeah. And, um, you know, that's what we've done. And it's interesting because we're starting to get uh, more of a presence in the community. And we're starting to see people, you know, that have been at other companies for 20 years, 15 yeah. years, eight years. Um, you know, be like, man, what are those guys doing over there? And so as the company's growing, we're actually seeing more talent come in. Uh, but you can really notice a difference. I mean, you, you've been through the plant, yeah. you know, you go department by department and how organized they are. And you look at their, uh, you know, everything they have built up and it lines up and it's clean. And that's what we're trying to do. And that's what we want customers to feel. You know, when they're in our units, know that uh, it's built by people that, that care. Yeah and um, that are going to stand behind it and that are proud to have our names on the unit. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, it's a little different, I think, than what the market's used to, um, but it's real. And when you're here, uh, hopefully you can feel that. Oh yeah, you definitely can. And I do want to point out one other thing is, I believe this stacks up against all or any other luxury fifth wheel on the road. Um, I know there's the, uh, the DRVs and the Luxes of the world, and they say they're the luxury ones. Well, I'll challenge them. This is every bit as luxurious as those, and any of the any of the other uh, brands that consider themselves luxury brand. Because what you guys are going to see here in this video is the fit and finish on these units are fantastic. And one of the things I thought, hallelujah is your wiring harnesses you guys have. Instead okay. of having the spaghetti underneath the bay <laughs> that all the competitors have, you have a nice, neat wiring harness. And you know, that just goes a long way with me. Okay. And I know a lot of people. And if you have a problem, they're labeled. You know which wire goes where. Oh, yeah. And it's not a hunting and taking your meter out trying to hunt. Where does that wire go? Fact. I mean, I think we've all grown accustomed to our vehicles yeah. not having electrical issues. Yeah. It's all harnessed, it's all Deutsch connectors. Exactly. You know, it's, uh, we have the ability to put some of these industry issues behind us. Yeah. It just takes some money and some organization. And, uh, you know, frankly, I think we'll make it up in the long run. And if it's not in dollars, it's with brain damage and customer right. frustration. And uh, for me, it's money well spent. But I mean, it for us, it organizes everything we do electrical yeah. wise, so. It, it does, and you know, you, you talked, just briefly about money and the last thing I just want to bring up you're very competitive price-wise on the MSRP I mean it's not like you're that much higher than anybody else in fact you're kind of in line with everybody else that are the mainstreams mm -hmm. out there um, yeah I know the Luxes and the DRVs are 200 plus mm -hmm. you're not that but you're talking about the grand design the keystones the alliances and everything you're right there on the pricing yeah. so this is a in my opinion a far better rig than all those other brands and more luxurious. Thank you. But and but the quality in building this guy's way better. Thank way you. better. Thank you. And you'll see that when you come here and see uh, a Brinkley and go for the tour, you're going to see the differences in manufacturing, and you'll see right away why it's a much better built unit than anything out there. And if you ever get out and about and you see a Brinkley in the wild, um, go look at it closely. You'll notice there's no caulking on the outside the way they seen these things. It's just kind of a, a duh. And the way you guys do it is so smart. And uh, I think you guys are going to be very impressed. Thank just you. Just all around, this thing is incredible. Thank you.
All right. Yeah. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah. Thanks Appreciate for being it. here. Yeah. Yep. All right, again, I want to thank uh, Nate and Jeremiah and everybody at Brinkley for all their time and putting this video together. I do want to say, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe button and uh, ring that little bell. Let you know when I'm doing another video. But we're going to leave you with this. A little sneak peek of the G-Series before we go. And then part two, which will be next week, we'll dive deep into the G-Series and show you why this is the superior rig. And uh, I'm going to go out on a limb, and I'm going to say this right here now as a prediction. I have a feeling that these Brinkley RVs, whether it's the Z or the G, these models are going to hold or retain their value better than any other RV, fifth wheel or travel trailer on the market today. So I believe percentage-wise, they will hold their value better than any other rig out there, including all the top-end luxury rigs because the quality is that much better than all the ones out there. That's just my prediction. Guys, leave your comments below. Let me know if you agree with that statement. Because as you know, I love to hear get your comments. I respond to most all of you and uh, would like to hear your opinion on all that. Well, again, thanks for watching. Make it a great bucket list day. Goodbye.